Hey, yo, check this out. This is the great Sadat X, and I want to give a shout out to 40 years of hip hop. Understand that 40 years of hip hop with Mr. Ron and the G Man. 1979 to 2019, brand new being made to join with All for One. Understand that we dropped that in 1990. So check out these dudes, Mr. Ron and the G Man. Well, who am I? I am the wild cowboy with a lot of style, boy. One of one. The untraceable, no known DNA. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Punks jump up to get beat down. New York is not a sweet town. So check it out. 40 years of hip-hop, Mr. Ron and the G-Man. They review a thousand hip-hop songs from 1979 to 2019. And like I said, brand newbie and made the list. Peace. Ooh, that was a nice intro by the one and only Sadat X from Brand Nubian, actually our pick of the week. And party people, I'm your host with the most, Mr. Ron, with another edition of 40 Years of Hip Hop, where we review 1,000 songs from 1979 to 2019, and that party people always sucker free, and party people show some love to my man, the G-Man, who's better known as the podcaster master who's doing the in detail version of that review and you could check him out at 40 years of hip hop dot buzzsprout dot com so for the people let's do this one for all by brand nubian from the album of off one and that was released in 1990 a g-pick yes indeed let's do this party people let's do this yes Before we get into this review, this month we are giving away a 40 Years of Hip Hop t-shirt manufactured by Champion. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel to have a chance to win. Also, check out our t-shirt store, we have a few original tees and more are coming on the way. You like cool artwork? Check out 40 Years of Hip Hop displayed metallic posters. We have released the first five and the collection is growing. And party people, you like the channel? Show support by buying us a coffee that would be much appreciated. You can find all the links in the description down below. Thank you. Was this song original? If so, how? Let me tell you people, the vibe was original. So. You need to understand, in 1990, you have your braggadocio, you know, braggadocio, you know, hip-hop. You have your party themes, and hip-hop is slowly evolving. And, um, pre-gangster rap, pre-West uh, Coast invasion, there comes Brand Nubian. They're Afrocentric without being menacing like X-Clan, for example. Uh, they're fun, they're witty and a uh, positive however they still you know like appeal to the ladies it's really about the vibe really and also i really like the fact that grand puba he actually brought another type of style to the hip-hop culture you know by uh wearing brands like marite francois gerbeau and uh tommy hilfiger polo shirts and that was a great change from like those Adidas tracksuits. And that party people, courtesy of Discogs, I give it a 3.5 and the G-Man gave it a four. Delivery, which consists of lyrics and flow. Party people, let me tell you, the quotable was very difficult to choose. Sadat X's verse is hard. His rhyme pattern, sometimes, you know, like he slows him down. Only to pick him up later on, you know, at a later bar. It was very difficult to choose. However, Grand Puba takes the cake, okay, with some rappers think, like Engelberg Humperdick, better yet, Dick Cavett, I got a bad habit. Similar to the girl on She's Gotta Have It. I think with my brain and nuts behind my zipper, I'm living kind of good, similar to Jack Tripper. So, party people, for those that didn't know, Engelberg Humperdinck 
is basically a British singer songwriter from the 60s 70s uh, in the c black community is seen like a culture vulture a little bit like Elvis Dick Cavett I got a bad habit so Dick Cavett was a talk show host from uh, the 1960s all the way to uh, the 2000 he's better known for of course the Dick Cavett show and uh, the tonight show similar to the girl once she's gotta have it so she's gotta have it was Spike uh, Spike Lee's first uh, movie uh, it's basically about a girl who has many suitors she has kind of like three boyfriends and she's going to like juggle them through at the same time you know all that in black and white all that with New York City in the backdrop pretty cool movie pretty cool movie for a first flick for his first uh, full-length uh, movie it's to the point that even Netflix made a series about it produced by of course Spike uh, himself and uh, I think with my brain not with what's behind my zipper so Grant Poo won't compromise himself and uh, yeah I'm living good similar to Jack Tripper so Jack Tripper is the main character from an 80s comedy uh, called uh, Three's Company. So part of people, I also feel that Lord Jamal, because I did not mention him, Lord Jamal was still taking shape as an MC in the first album. From my point of view, of course, I think that is way stronger uh, in the second album. And again, I'm pretty sure that's not the only brand new song that's gonna make our 1000 list party people. <clears throat> Courtesy of Genius.com and that's why I gave it a 3.75 and the G Money hit him up with a 4. Always overreaching my man, always overreaching. Production and beat. So, in-house production. Credited to Grand Puba and uh, Brand Nubian, five samples deep, right? Uh, but the main one is Can Mine by James Brown, and that sample party people is so sweet. The production does sound uh, outdated, okay? Uh, and also, it is a loop, okay? It's basically four bars that are looped. Um, it sounds nice, you know, even with uh, uh, you when you're the old vinyl popcorn song on the record and you could li you could list easily hear when they basically cut the thum thum where they cut the sample. It's a nice piece, but it's a sa it's basically just a loop outdated. And for this reason, I give it a two. Uh, uh, oh, I get a 3.25. Sorry, party people. Yes, I give it a 3.25. And my man, the G Money, gave it a four. Relevant. Is this still relevant? Was it able to stand the test of time? I'll tell you, party people, for heads such as I, the G Man, all the diggers out there, the people that grew up in the 90s, that song is a classic. Uh, however, I've actually checked in uh, the younger, uh, um, you know, YouTubers out there. I was looking for some reaction videos and there was uh, none. Um, this song, again, like I would say, I don't think it aged well. Uh, it is a nice song, you know, uh, and again, a very early 90s uh, signature. Very good. However, party people it lost a step you know by because of all of these decades for that reason i gave it a two on five and my man the g money he gave it a 3.75 oh yeah impact powerful impact boom from the cannon was brandon impactful well Brand Nubian has a strong influence in 90s hip hop. Okay, um, it's their peripheral members to the Navy, uh, the Navy, Navy, Native Tongue Collective. Okay, um, they show that it was po it was it, it was possible to be positive, Afrocentric, 
and still have fun and still be able to kick it with the ladies, you know? And that's why party people impact wise and also brand Nubian, every hip hop head knows brand Nubian. Every, every hip hop head knows a uh, brand Nubian. And for that reason, impact, I give it a four on five and the G-Man gave it a 4.5. Party people for the grand total, the grand finale as myself, I had a 16 point, 16 on 25, okay, for a 64%. And the Chicka Chicka G Money had 20.5. Damn, overreach. Always, always giving more. But it's a good thing. I didn't see any fives in there. So that's what's up, party people. So the G Man, he basically gave it a 20.5 on 25 for 82%. Party people, this is your host with the most, Mr. Ron, all right, telling you, thank you for listening to us, you know, comment down below, share, tell me what's up, you know, share, are we doing a good job, do you even like what we're doing, is this any good, party people, let us know, all right, it's your host with the most, Mr. Ron, telling you, peace, and happy Honolulu, that's right, party people, peace, and I'm out.